I'm Mackenzie Davis, and I am originally from Iowa, but I've been living in Lyons, Colorado, basically since I was 10 on. So I got to grow up there. Um, I hate to talk about myself in academic terms, but I feel like I've been in school my entire life. So I got my undergrad, my BFA from Colorado State University in Fort Collins. And then um, I had a little bit of time just making work. And then I got to go to Hawaii to get my MFA. So I actually completed that in May of last year. I was there for three whole years. So I was there through COVID. Um, but that's where I basically got to know paper making and I also got to get three years of teaching experience while I was there. So that gave me the opportunity to come back here and my original you know, drawing and painting teacher from Front Range Community College gave me the opportunity to start teaching there. So I'm a painter, paper maker, teacher, and that's how I would probably describe myself at this point in my life. Originally, when I came back here from Hawaii, um, I started teaching at Front Range and I was also um, asked to come be on the board of directors here at the firehouse. And everyone is so wonderful, everyone's so nice. Um, it was a place for me to kind of come back to my home and like relearn, you know, what, what's going on here, all the art that's happening here. It just seems like the firehouse is such a good hub for so many things going on, our education, um, these opportunities for artists. And I became so comfortable here um, that I was like, I, this should be the place that I kind of experiment more and push myself more after grad school. So um, I also think it's a really important Longmont location. It's a historical building and there's a lot of culture here. And so I thought that this space, as beautiful as it is, would be a wonderful place to do this residency. You know, I think a big part of it is, you know, how humans kind of interpret their relationship to the landscape around them, whether that be the urban landscape, the natural landscape, like all the, the overlapping stories that are told about any given location is what's really interesting to me. So, you know, when I was in Hawaii, there's all these different um, perspectives and stories that are told and that you have to kind of take all of them into account and that's what weaves the story of that place and so coming back here I've, it's still very interesting to me um, how people you know tell stories of the landscape whether that be like ind indigenous knowledge or um, like geological data personal stories that people have in the landscape um, just the day-to-day -day local culture as well all of those layers I think is what creates the landscape and so I'm really inspired by kind of investigating those layers and trying to create my own layers of meaning for um, the space the location around me. To me art is a way to kind of understand the world around me and all the different ways to interpret it and the different perspectives going on so I absolutely love having different processes I can jump around to so I think um, the variety of things I have going on is my favorite part of, of what I'm doing in here right now. Um, I really hope to accomplish like exploring all the different perspectives of, of Longmont as I can while I'm here. Um, painting them, um, creating the textures, the colors, kind of the landscape, reinterpreting the landscape and then creating an installation that shows like all the new things I've learned and new perspectives that have kind of poured into this process while I'm here. I think paper itself is such a great material to use because it's, it's a material that relates to communication and connecting people to each other. Um, and also, it's a really just a funny story personally for me because right before the COVID shutdown. Everything has to kind of be related to the COVID shutdown these days. But right before that, I was taking a reuse and recycling class at the University of Hawaii. And we got like very basic knowledge of paper making for like two weeks or something like that. And then the shutdowns. And, but I was still in a class where they were like, okay, continue with that, with that paper making process. So I kind of had to figure out how to do it at home alone. and. That's what created like this interesting paper process for myself. But then as soon as COVID was done, it became a way to connect with people. Instead of doing it in isolation, it was more about like, okay, what are all these interesting ways that we've used the, the material of paper? And um, you know, everybody got to collaborate and 
it felt like a really easy material to approach. And also everyone has junk mail. Everyone has mail that they just get rid of all the time. Um, it's kind of this collective material that just like flows through, you know, the city. And I think it's a perfect thing to recycle and to like recontextualize the meaning of and add soils and pigments. I really think of it as like a landscape type of situation where you're combining like the urban environment of all the mail that we get, all the paper, and then you can put in soil that you go find from the landscape. And um, it can be kind of sculptural, it can be kind of painting, it can, it can be whatever you want. So I see it as kind of this fluid material that I think is perfect for exploring all the ideas I'm talking about right now. I, th I hope that people who are from here can like see familiar aspects of the landscape while they look at the final pieces. Um, but I also hope that it takes away some of the familiarity at the same time and kind of creates a mystery of Longmont that maybe people want to explore it in a different way, a way that they haven't already, kind of similar to what I'm doing. Um, because I will have these large um, kind of urban or natural landscape paintings up on the walls in the gallery and then they'll be partially covered with this handmade paper, these layers of handmade paper, this new kind of landscape. So there will be aspects of, you know, Longmont, its culture and its landscape that are hidden or revealed. And so I think that kind of plays into the idea that there's many different ways to talk about this place. And, um, you know, maybe you're just getting one perspective and there's so much out there that people have to talk about. Sometimes in your, your own home, you take it for granted and you don't ask those questions or try to dive deeper about the culture. And so hopefully that is something that people think about when they're in the exhibition. I also hope that they see their own fingerprints and handprints in there because I want people um, to come to paper making workshops and make the paper with me and actually put their handprints in, in the material. And then once that's up on the wall, you know, it's a, it's a sense of connection and um, just like fun, honestly. I just want people to, to have fun as well. Behind me right now is where I'm starting as far as the painting itself. Um, I'm gonna cover one of the entire walls in the gallery with, with these paintings, but I'm starting with the doors of the firehouse because for me, it's all starting here at the firehouse, right? Like I said, it's a cultural, um, it's a historical building. It's, it's the place that's been the most welcoming to me. It's the place I'm getting to explore, you know, all of these ideas. So many people who are members here come in and talk to me. Um, just members of the community get to come in here. So I think it's a great representation of Long, like the heart of Longmont. And then from there, I'm gonna have um, landscapes that have been suggested to me by, you know, friends or members of the community, you know, like McIntosh Lake or um, different areas that are important to different people and I'm gonna have those landscapes sprawling out from the sides of the firehouse to kind of expand on that and all the different Longmont landscapes. How many times can I say the word landscape? It's gonna be like 500. Um, it's gonna be pretty loose and there will just be you know aspects that are peeping through some of the cracks and holes in the the kind of layer of new paper landscape that I'm creating there. I will also be creating pillars that are basically paper sculptures. They're paper pulp smushed onto these, these pillars and they will kind of represent, um, I don't know, kind of where earth meets society kind of moments, um, different kind of column-esque forms that I think are interesting throughout Longmont. So I'm making a cottonwood tree right now, but we'll also maybe look into like the sugar mill smokestack, um, other trees, other things that kind of bring together these landmarks of Longmont. So there will be a little bit of an element of, you know, that 3D going on in the center of the gallery as well that people can interact with. So Summer on the Streets, which is Firehouse hosts um, a fun, you know, like little festival on the street right out front where there's vendors, there's music. People can come in and see what the artists are working on. Um, so I'll have like all this paper making that set up for people to work on. And what's wonderful about those is people are always like, I didn't know this was so easy. And they just have so much fun and it's super approachable. Um, August 19th, it's less crazy as, than summer on the streets. So you have more of a chance to kind of play around with all the materials. 
It's fun because then you have to wait for it to dry and you don't know what it's gonna look like afterwards. So a little bit of patience and a little bit of like, you know, natural forces happening that you don't get to control. It's, it's a super fun time. The exhibit opens September 8th and it'll be up for a month. And um, there'll be a VIP opening for members of the firehouse and then it opens to the rest of the community. You can go to the firehouse website. Um, I also have Instagram, it's at mafrenzy, M-A-F-R-I-E-N-Z-I-E. -E. Those are mostly the places right now that have information and pictures and live updates, the firehouse Instagram. Um, we try to post a lot of fun things, process videos, stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm excited for everyone to kind of engage as much as possible during this. I'd really love for the exhibition to be, to have proof of the community throughout the whole thing. So it, it kind of just reminds me of like everything being recycled, you know, stories and, and all of the ideas that we share with each other. And um, yeah, so it's just, it's, it's a great recycling time that you can have with anybody.